It is another Zoom version edition of the Bobcat Club podcast. I'm your host, Carl Schoening. Today, we are joined by Bobcat senior infielder for the softball team, Bailey Carter. Bailey, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? You know, can't complain. Uh, sitting here in the film room of the uh, Texas State uh, Strand Arena for all the volleyball and basketball players. So this is kind of where I'm going to be setting up shop to keep up social distancing. And looks like you have a pretty nice spot to be socially distant from other people too. I do. I can't complain. It's really pretty. Yeah, it is very nice. Um, you know, obviously you're senior here with Texas State. We're happy to have you. And uh, it's been a crazy time here, a month into your season, just everything on the rest of the schedule gets canceled right as y'all were starting conference play. So, you know, maybe we just pick up right there. What's what's it been like for you this last month? The March seemed like it lasted forever, didn't it? It did. Um, it was heartbreaking to find out that everything we'd worked for has been, you know, put away for a while and canceled. And so, it was good that, to be around the girls when we all found out, but I miss them a lot. And so I'm just trying to stay busy and keep with my routine to kind of keep my mind off things. But it's it's been hard. Yeah, you know, I think we're all trying to adjust to just situations like this. And, um, you know, we thank you for your time to join us and uh, talk about, you know, maybe where you're from. You were a three-time District 5, 5A MVP up there in the Fort Worth area. And, you know, you could have picked anywhere to pretty much go to college for softball. Why'd you pick Texas State? Um, I went on a visit here. I actually had a coach told me before I went down there that I was going to be a perfect fit for there and I was going to love it. And I was like, okay, whatever. And I went down there and that's exactly what happened is it felt like home and I was just in love with the campus, the coaches and everybody I met there. And so I knew I wanted to go. You're a senior with the Bobcat softball team. And, you know, how was the Coach Woodard experience? Um, it's great. Uh, I'm so thankful to be able to play for her for four years now and just even play for Texas State. It's such a wonderful opportunity and everything that Coach Woodard's taught us is something that we can take on and use for years. Obviously, you've been on a full ride since you got here to Texas State. Can you just touch on what your scholarship means to you? I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to get to play at Texas State and we have such wonderful donors and I love the sport and so getting to play in college is just a blessing. Awesome. Well, obviously the ruling came down on Monday that eligibility will be extended. So uh, have you had any conversations about what the eligibility extension is going to look like for your Bobcat career, which has the opportunity to continue since it was kind of halted on schedule? I've been on and off the phone a little bit with Coach Woodard of talking about possible options and what next year would look like. And as of right now, I'm planning on coming back. I hope it all works out for the best. What were some of your favorite memories during your time with Texas State to this point? Anything stand out in particular? Um, obviously, our Sun Belt Championship and our bid to the regionals is something really special to me. We had a really special group of girls, and it was just a really fun experience that I was looking forward to going back and doing this year. But we can hopefully try again next year. Yeah, well, exactly. Hopefully everything works out and next year things will be back to normal and you'll have another opportunity to go after that Sun Belt Conference Championship in the regular season in the tournament and then try and make a run in the regional. So thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. And, you know, stay safe, stay healthy. And anything else you want to say to the Bobcats before and the fans before we uh, get out of here? Um, no, look forward to seeing you all again next year. All right, thanks for your time, and uh, we'll see you later. Okay, thank you.